Hey everyone, it is Friday and today we are finishing up um, Jake Drake Teacher's Pet by Andrew Clements. So yesterday we, sorry, um, we were planning out our writing, right? Yesterday we were trying to answer the question, how did Jake help Miss Snaven? And we kind of talked a lot about how we had to infer um, how Jake actually helped because it wasn't all completely spelled out in the text. Something I also want to put on um, in your mind today is I want to talk about character. Oops, character feelings. Okay, this is this is a really nice piece of writing that we can add character feelings in to describe um, how Jake is helping Mrs. Snaven. And we talked about that yesterday a little bit when we talk about um, Jake being embarrassed. There's a good spot for feelings. Um, we can also talk about that frustration. So when Jake's observing um, Miss Snaven. We can talk about um, how she is feeling and how he's also feeling to go ahead and help her. So I really do want to focus today in on character feelings as we are doing our, our writing. So let's go back. I'm going to go back and just re-highlight um, that information that we put out yesterday so we can start writing today. Reminder, when you're writing, um, make sure that you are uh, drawing some lines or, or doing something to keep your writing nice and neat. Um, Finally, I'm going to say one more time, a lot of you are uploading your work to Seesaw, you're handwriting it, and you're taking pictures. Awesome. I saw a lot of you from Eastern doing that today. Um, I was just looking at a bunch of your work. When you are uploading it, there is a video, and I've now sent it out in my um, whole Eastern email, and I believe a, a lot of the other teachers as well did as well. Make sure that you're enlarging, so you have to drag the photo um, when you enlarge it so that I can actually see your work, okay? So make sure you're doing that. There's a video um, or a link going out tomorrow as well. So make sure you're enlarging your photo when you upload. All right, let's go back. Let's take a look at how did Jake help Miss Naven. So our first one, we said Jake um, Jake Drake observes um, and he's watching Miss Naven look at the book and sigh. So let's find that evidence. Let's re-highlight that. And let's help our... Uh, still the same thing today for some reason. Come on, Pointer. Why are you doing this? All right, let's just try to highlight it. Uh huh. Miss Snaven looked at her screen. She looked at the book and back at her screen. So we talked about this piece of evidence right here. And she lets out a big sigh. Oops, kind of went right into it. So we can do this is going to be our first piece of evidence. Then we're going to go. And Miss Snaven um, is. Being helped by Jake Drake, he's talking about how she needs to double click on her work. Let's find that piece of evidence. Oh man, it's doing this thing again where it's not working right. Hmm. All right, well, we can at least find the paragraph. Here we go. We're changed this up to green. So, Miss Snaven, if you double click that little thing right there, it's up and running. Woo! And this is our second piece of evidence. And then, what did we say for number three? We said, um, he gets the computer working, and then we're going to talk about his character feelings. So, uh, still doing that thing. Um, oh, it's so annoying. We can kind of let's let's switch it up here, so you can see. Um, I'm thinking like paragraph eleven has some some nice character feelings. This time, my face. Uh, it's red, my ears get hot, all this stuff in paragraph 11. I wonder if I write it over here. So we're going to pull evidence from paragraph 11. And then we're also going to pull evidence. Uh, where did I have that? Paragraph 2. So I'm so sorry, guys, about the technical difficulties here. Um, so we're going to pull evidence from paragraph 2. And then we're going to pull evidence from paragraph three. So let's go ahead and let's get started with our writing. I'm going to stretch out the first detail today. Um, and then we're going to talk a little bit about character feelings. And you're going to stretch the other details out on your own. So let's go ahead and start with a topic sentence. Write your topic sentence down right now. And I'm going to start with mine as well. So I'm going to actually cite the title of the book in my 
uh, topic sentence, and I'm going to say in the story, shake, break, Peter's, oops, Peter's pet, Jake helped his teacher, Snaven. I want to make sure I'm indenting my writing. You should be indenting your writing as well. So let's take a look. It says in the story, Jake Drake, teacher's pet. Jake helped his teacher, Miss Snaven. So I'm going to explain then how Jake is helping Miss Snaven in this. Let's take a look at our first piece of evidence. Let's highlight this right now so you can see it. And this is what we're going to do together. Let's take a look. It says Jake Drake observes and we're watching her look at the book inside. So why don't you stretch that out and then we'll come back together in a few minutes and we'll stretch out um, the writing and we'll go take a look at the evidence that we pulled out. Okay, so if you need more time, just pause it, um, and let's talk about this. So our first piece of evidence, we're talking about Miss Snaven becoming frustrated. And what she do? She uh, looks at the how-to book, right? She goes back and forth between the screen and the how-to book. She takes a big sigh, and she's about to call Miss Reed, Mrs. Reed, sorry. So Drake's observing all this. But I think we need to do a little bit of framing and remind yourself what's framing so framing is when the author uh, or the writer in this case kind of provides you with some background knowledge because if we go right in our, to our writing and we say um, jake observes miss um, snaven becoming frustrated period and and write like that the reader's not going to know exactly what is happening so we need to do a little bit of framing and provide some reasons why she's becoming frustrated in the first place. So let's take a look at paragraph one up here. And let's read paragraph one together. It says, when I was in third grade, we got five new computers in our classroom. Miss Snaven was my third grade teacher, and she acted like the computers were scary, especially, sorry, especially the new ones. We always needed to look at how, a uh, how-to book and the computer at the same time. Even then, she got mixed up a lot. Then she had to call Mrs. Reed, the librarian, to come and show her what to do. So I think it's important that we provide some information. Maybe we want to put in that this is a third grade classroom. Miss Snaven is a third grade teacher, um, and she acts like computers were scary. I think this is this is a nice piece of information. So I'm going to use that to just kind of stretch out in my own words a little bit of framing, a little bit of background knowledge. So I'm going to say um, in this story, Jake Drake, teacher's pet, Jake helped his teacher, Miss Snaven. Miss Snaven became very frustrated when using computers in the classroom. Okay, so a little bit of background knowledge here. And let's find out uh, why exactly they're using the computer. She was confused at a program we were supposed to use for math. So maybe we want to include that in our framing as well. Miss Snaven was having difficulty the math program now that we framed out and provided background knowledge about why she's becoming frustrated now we can go in and stretch out our first detail so we said jay drake observes her um getting frustrated and let's now look at number one here um and she becomes confused at the program we're supposed to use. My desk is near, and I started watching her. She starts sighing, and she's using the how-to book. So let's put that in there. <clears throat> let's actually start with a break. I was watching Miss Snaven come frustrated. She was using a how to book and sighing a lot. Let's say 
when she was using a computer. <clears throat> okay, so again, see this detail here? We took this these two little snippets from our plan and we really stretched them out here. We say Miss Snaven is having difficulty with a math program. Jake Drake was watching Miss Snaven become frustrated. She was using a how-to book and sighing a lot when she was using the computer. Now we can even add more information about how she, you know, is feeling or how Drake is feeling at this point. Um, so let's why don't we say Jake Drake wanted to help his his teacher because she, oh, sorry he could see how upset she was becoming. Once again, this is a good place to add character feeling into your writing. When you're explaining a fiction story like this, when you're basically retelling a fiction story, um, character feelings are really important. They're going to help you make these connections between details here. Okay, so today for writing, and we're going to try this again, and if, if we want, we might switch back as well. Today for writing, you're going to do number two and number three on your own. So I'll take a look when you submit them, and I'll be providing feedback and comments on Seesaw. Make sure you're checking the comments because I've been leaving comments for you um, if you're in Eastern on Seesaw. And you're going to write numbers two and number three on your own. Don't forget your concluding sentence. That should be at the very bottom. If you have any questions, please reach out to me and have a great day, everyone. Bye.